You guys ready to tackle a brand new problem? If you want to code along, make sure to hit the link in the description below. It's time to pop our daily dose of code. Max points on a line. You're given an array ARR in which each element corresponds to a 2D coordinate or a point. That is ARR of i is xi, yi. What is the maximum number of points that lie on the same line? Here we can see our input is 5, meaning there are 5 points. Each point is represented by an xy coordinate 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 7, 5, and 0, 4. Let's plot it out. And once we do, we can see this is how it looks. These five little colored dots are the points. And we can see these three points, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2 are lying on the same line. Now, if we take any other set of points, say this point right here and this point right here, any line that passes through them is going to pass through only two points. However, this line passes through three points and it's the only line which passes through three points, which is why our output is going to be three. The maximum number of points any line can run through is three. Now guys, I'll leave it open. If you remember how to calculate the slope of a line, you're already halfway there. If you don't, I'll give you a clue and I'll explain how to calculate it really shortly. Now have a look at this animation right here. Slope is nothing but the angle made with the x-axis. As we can see, two lines with the same slope are always going to be parallel. The only case where this is not true is if the two lines intersect, if the two lines are one and the same. In that case, they have the same slope and each and every single point in them is the same. So the basic condition for two lines of the same slope being the same line is if they share at least one point, because if they share one point, they're going to share every other point. Furthermore, this formula you see right here, this is what we're going to have to use to calculate the slope. If we've got two points labeled x1, y1 and x2, y2, those are their coordinates. The slope is calculated using this formula, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Now, these are all the ingredients you need to solve it. It's up to you to put them together. Try to solve it by yourself. If you know how to do it, head on to the coding link in the description below and solve it. It'll take you to a hacker platform. Once you're done, head on back to the video and I'll explain the solution. Here you can see we've listed out the five points. We're going to start with point number one and draw every single possible line. Now, if any of these lines have got the same slope, that means they're part of the same line as they share a common point in point number one. So any line involving point one and having the same slope lies on the same line. This, we're going to store this slope value into our hash map along with a count of the number of points. So initially, we start with the first point and we compute every possible line. That is with point one and two, one and three, one and four, and one and five. Here straight away, we can see that one, two, and three lie on the same line. Now we're going to repeat this exact same concept for point two. Now we've already finished point one, so we only do it with the subsequent points. That's point three, point four, and point five. Similarly, we draw every possible line between three, four, three, five, and point four and five. In other words, we're going to have two loops, one outer I loop and one J loop that's nested in it. The time complexity of this is going to be N squared, but you can optimize it a slight bit. The first I loop doesn't necessarily have to run from i to n or i to n minus one. Instead, this loop can run from i to n minus the maximum number of points. The reason being, in this example, straight away we can see that point one, two, and three lie on the same line. Meaning right now the maximum is three, the maximum count is three. Now we can hit point two and three, but now there's no point considering four and five. Any lines involving these previous three points, which have already been covered 
and the next two points have already been considered. So the only possible lines that are left are the unique lines that pass through four and five. However, the only unique line that can pass through four and five covers only two points. But our maximum number of points is three. Now we know if we proceed further on, the best we can do is to cover two points. However, we've already got a solution that covers three points. So why continue? We can terminate it right here. So the algorithm is run an outer I loop from zero to n minus I minus one. Run an inner J loop from I plus one to n. And what we do is we compute every possible slope. If it's a new slope value that hasn't been seen, we add it to our hash map with a count of one. If it's our old slope value, we simply increment the count. And once we're done with the inner J loop, we're going to have to store the maximum recorded value and we're going to have to create clear our hash map for the next I iteration. Guys, the video feed has stopped, but don't worry, we're towards the end of the video anyway. This is the code right here. This is going to store our slope value. Max is initially zero. We're going to keep recording the maximum element and return that in the end. The first I loop, like I said, runs from zero to length of the array. That's n minus max minus one. Now we're going to have a J loop as well. We can get a scenario where the denominator is zero. In other words, the line is parallel to the Y axis. The slope of this line is considered to be infinity. We'll just store it as this number right here. If the denominator is not zero, we simply compute our slope using the formula we just discussed. Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. If the key is present, we simply take the associated value and increment it by one. If it is not present, we set its value to one. We record the maximum number of points in this J iteration. Then we clear the dictionary for the next iteration. And here we record the global maximum. Now we have to return max plus one since we don't account for the ith point. Now let's see if this works. Compile and test. A sample test case has been passed. Submit. Beautiful. Every test case has been accepted. So guys, that's the solution to the problem. Max points on a line. If you liked it, you know what to do. The golden trio is going to show up on your screen. Make sure to click it. Also leave your comments down below. If you've got a more optimal way to solve this, or maybe if you've got suggestions for any future problems, any problems you'd like me to solve here, just leave it down below and we'll have a look. It's been Vivek Kalur guys. Awesome solving this for you. And I'll see you all next time.